I mentioned five imperatives uh, that I, I thought were important for our discussion today. I would like to mention five takeaway. Um, I think the first one is about the readiness of the education system. And I see the readiness in a, a two-fold movement. One is how education system will be able to respond to how AI will be uh, penetrating the labor market, economy, societies. And the second is how education system will use AI to improve the learning, to improve uh, the capacity of the teachers to uh, engage with the learners. So I think this two-fold movement is very important. The second takeaway is about the timeliness. I think that the, uh, the keynote speaker was, was very clear about those waves and, and, the, and the, uh, the acceleration. Uh, so the, the question is how education system will respond on time so that we don't find ourselves with many losers and few winners. And that's the third takeaway is we know who are the losers. The losers are the low skilled, people coming from poor economic back background, ethnic minorities, other disadvantaged group. And the question is how, from uh, uh, an ethic point of view, from an equity point of view, from an inclusion point of view, we will deal with that. But the inclusion is also, and I think it came in on several occasions, is, is this uh, individual aspect, is how we respond to the, let me use the term that I read uh, recently, is the, the mass uniqueness. We are all, we are massive, but we are all unique. And I think the question is how artificial intelligence will help us to engage with that mass uniqueness, not only in the classroom, but in life. And that's the lifelong learning perspective, because we don't learn in the classroom only. We learn in different settings. And uh, we need to take into account that lifelong learning perspective from early child to uh, adult, but also learning in non-formal, formal, informal. In reality, the boundaries of these different uh, uh, settings are, are fading. And the last maybe uh, important aspect is uh, we have seen different speakers from different background. And I think that we need to connect research, action, and policy making, but within an international cooperation. And that's what WISE, UNESCO, and the teacher college have been trying to do. And I would like to take forward our collaboration on three areas. One, we need to build further knowledge. Second, we need to share that knowledge. And third, we need to engage. And that means we need to mobilize stakeholders. We need to mobilize different partners around this collaboration that we have had today. So I look forward for continued collaboration. I'm very pleased to be here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I want to echo uh, the desire and the willingness uh, to move uh, move this forward. Um, I, I think it's been it's been a very interesting afternoon. Um, just listening to to the conversation and in, in, in particular the the keynote and then the panel that uh, preceded this, I'm reminded by what a, a wise New Yorker who uh, passed away I think four years ago uh, remarked once. Uh, he said, "The future ain't what it used to be." Uh, and uh, you know, I I, I think. There are exciting, <clears throat> exciting possibilities ahead for uh, for AI to be truly transformative uh, in in many areas, uh, and it's unlikely that education is going to uh, be completely unaffected. But I was encouraged uh, to hear uh, Hod say that in two areas where I think uh, that, that are quintessential to education, um, AI is not particularly good, and that's walking and talking. Um, and, and maybe it's, you know, it's time for us to think about, you know, uh, reviving peripatetic uh, education. That's what the, uh, the ancient Greeks used to do, walk and talk as opposed to chalk and, uh, uh, chalk and talk. Um, and, and I think, you know, I think one of the questions we, we have to ask ourselves is, regardless of where AI goes, um, what is it that we want it to do in, in the education space? Um, and I think at, at, at a very fundamental level, education is a human-to-human -human, uh, exercise. Uh, and I think it should stay that way, regardless of what the possibilities are for, 
for that technology. I think we do have choices to make. We don't need to be deterministic. Um, I love the story, by the way, of the two chatbots uh, talking and the fact that you got uh, several million views and comments. I think you missed an opportunity, right? I mean, this city is the setting uh, of one of the most successful sitcoms, a show specifically about nothing. So, <laughs> so you know, I think there was an opportunity there to, to franchise this, this out. Um, but it's also, you know, illustrative that, that, you know, human stupidity, I think, is still a bigger worry than artificial intelligence, <laughs> at least from my vantage point, that we still, there are things that we need to, you know, fix about ourselves uh, before we, we worry too much about where AI uh, is taking us. Now, having said that, I think, you know, the, the conversations today acknowledge that there are many design questions that um, we need to think about that touch on ethics, but also on safety. I, I loved the, uh, the, the anecdote about the, the, the pilot, uh, you know, designing the, the cockpit. Um, you know, that even with the best intentions, we are going to get things wrong. So it's important that we, we keep the conversation going. Um, we need more interdisciplinary research. I agree. We need more testing. We need more piloting. Uh, and we just have to keep uh, keep talking and sharing ideas and solutions. Uh, and with that, it is it is the hope that this is not a one-off uh, this event, and that we are uh, going to continue this collaboration uh, in uh, in the months and uh, uh, years to come. Watch this space for for more details in the future. But thank you on behalf of Wise and Qatar Foundation to UNESCO and in particular to the Teachers College and Columbia University. Thank you. Um, thank you, Stavros. Um, I just wanted to close by uh, thanking all the whole team of Teachers College that you know created this entire space from scratch. Uh, it's a totally open space uh, that was you know, created just for this event. Um, so huge team that that worked to put together this this event. Uh, thank also uh, Stavros and Wise and the UNESCO and uh, all the other, um, pe the people that came here and also people uh, uh, watching the stream. We had lots of tweets and you know you can check the, the hashtag uh, AI for for ED and uh, there's tons of interesting conversations online. Uh, and just here is to the hope that we can keep this conversation going and we have lots of plans with UNESCO and WISE and other partners uh, too to keep this um, conversation going. And I think one important thing about this partnership in particular is that we have, you know, the international uh, voice of the UNESCO and, and all the concerns it, it represents. We have also an international foundation that does work in many countries uh, we have, you know, technologists like HAR that we hope to, you know, help us in this, uh, in this endeavor. And we have Teachers College, which is a, you know, a symbol in education in this country and, and in the world. And everyone is at the table with the same uh, weight. And I think that's really important that we uh, bring those kinds of hard debates in education to a table where everybody has the same voice and where people are working collaboratively to create you know, the best possible solutions for our children. So thank you very much, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. <laughs>